finishing touches. Uh, we uh, our last workout day was yesterday. Uh, now it's just a matter of uh, maintaining weight. He weighed uh, uh, before training yesterday. Uh, we sent in a picture to WBC 164.4. So he's four pounds, four pounds away from uh, 160 pounds a week away. Uh, now it's just a matter of good nutrition and a little running and uh, maintaining the weight. Abel, uh, you, we all saw Chuck. Abel, is there any concern with the fire work to go to, to a decision? Is there any concern on your end? Well, of course there's concern. There's always concern because of uh, what we often see, which we shouldn't see. Uh, Mike, you want it? Uh, what you shouldn't see, it's like we almost saw here tonight, uh, but it was unfortunately it was an error on, on, on uh, Michael's part. But um, we hope that the, the judges that they choose are on the up and up, and we hope that the, everything is on a level playing field. Uh, I believe that it will be. I believe that it's up to us to make it um, so it's so it's uh, irrelevant uh, the judges uh, or the outcome of uh, of, uh, of the scoring. Could could going for a knockout against Canelo be, be counterproductive? Are you going to want him to box more in that fight instead of instead of going after Canelo? I want him to be the best Golovkin can be. That's how I prepare him. I don't prepare. Uh, I want Golovkin to go after him just like he did with every fight that he's fought, uh, just like he did with uh, uh, every fight that you've seen. He's going to go out and do what he does best. Uh, for me to say that I'm going to change him because Canelo does this and Canelo does that, then we would be going in not 100%. Then we'd be adapting to somebody else. I think Canelo's going to have a hard time dealing with the presence and, and, and the strength and the power. He's going to have a difficult time. It may not be at the beginning of the fight. But eventually, he will have a very, very difficult time. Hey, boy, I'm not looking past this challenging task on September 16th, but given that you guys are victorious, what, what would the future hold for Golovkin? I, mean, what... I would love to see him, and he says to me in the gym just the other day, about a week ago, he's, he'd like to fight three or four more years. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what uh, how this fight goes. I'd like to see him fight again in, in, in before the end of the year, maybe the late December, depending on Tom Loeffler, the promoter. But I really think that he can fight in December and then fight again in May and then fight again in uh, September of next year. So he wants to stay busy. Uh, he wants to uh, make sure that he he, uh, he fights as much as he can while he still while he still can. Does your rematch cost um, to the benefit of Canelo, given that if he loses, he gets to exercise it? Do you think if, if he were to not be victorious September 16th, that he would actually exercise that clause? Or? You know, I hope it's the kind of fight where they exercise that clause. I hope it's the kind of fight that we, the public, because I'm, I'm part of the fans too, we, the public, want to see again. We haven't had that. We haven't had those kind of rivalries in boxing for a long, long time. So if it's that good a fight and they exercise the clause, even if uh, 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 it's not a lot like they want it to be, like you say, it's too lopsided, and they want to do it again because they feel they can do it again and they can get better, God, that's the way it should be. They should, they should be up to the challenge.